Welcome to Steel Dust Recycling, America's first facility built from the ground up for the single purpose of recycling KO61 steel dust. With this facility, SDR has established a new level of efficiency and environmental performance for southern steel producers. Strategically located on 66 acres near Millport, Alabama, SDR is in the heart of America's new steel-making region. Not only are we close to our customers, but our direct access to major roads and railways yields lower risk and reduces transportation costs. The plant's rail spur is connected by a short-haul railroad to four of the nation's major railways. This ideal location and strong community support made it easy for SDR to choose Northwest Alabama and add more than 40 well-paying jobs to the local economy. The SDR story starts at steel mills like this, where steel dust is created when scrap metal is melted in electric arc furnaces. In fact, more than a million tons of steel dust, a hazardous waste known as KO61, is created every year in the United States, and over 40% of it is sent to landfills. Moreover, that landfilled dust squanders thousands of tons of zinc and iron-rich material, two products that are becoming increasingly more important and hard to find. So here's a better idea. SDR will convert more than 120,000 tons of that excess steel dust into useful raw products. In the process, we'll recover more than 24,000 tons of zinc and almost 65,000 tons of iron-rich material each year. Much of the zinc will end up back in a steel plant for galvanizing new steel, while the iron-rich material will become an ingredient for cement and asphalt plants or, in the wake of historically high steel prices, sent back to steel mills for iron units. Steel dust arrives at SDR by rail or truck from steel mills throughout the southeastern U.S. Inbound steel dust goes to the receiving building where it's blended, conditioned, pelletized, and cured before moving to the focal point of the SDR operation a whale's kiln that is 180 feet long and 13 feet in diameter. The processed dust is fed into the whale's kiln, where it is heated to more than 2300 degrees Fahrenheit. Zinc from the dust is reduced to a metal vapor and re-oxidized as it moves through the kiln. This oxidized zinc is then cooled and collected as whale's oxide, a zinc-rich compound that is sent to zinc smelters as a feed supplement for mined zinc concentrate. With this process, the annual output of whale's oxide from SDR alone will prevent more than 200,000 tons of zinc mine tailings. The whale's kiln technology in place at SDR is a proven process that we've made even better. First used nearly 100 years ago, the Wales kiln remains the best demonstrated technology for high temperature metals recovery of steel dust. While other technologies have been created and tested, nothing has proven to be more durable, reliable, or cost effective. But at SDR, we've made the Wales kiln state of the art by adding sophisticated monitoring and control systems to improve efficiency and environmental performance. For example, rail cars carrying KO61 to SDR are discharged directly into an enclosed handling system, so unloading is a sealed cycle. And air pressure in the dust storage and processing building is reduced by powerful suction fans so dust cannot spill into the atmosphere. Any dust drawn into the air handlers is collected and returned to the building. A backup generator maintains power to monitoring and air handling systems to prevent dust from escaping even in the event of a prolonged power failure. In fact, no hazardous waste leaves the SDR plant. At the end of their useful life, old product collection bags, which collect the whale's oxide, are simply fed into the kiln to extract additional useful materials. Even staff uniforms are issued, collected, and laundered on premise 
and shower and laundry water is recycled on site to ensure that no waste materials are discharged. This is how it should be done. With a state-of-the-art facility, advanced technology, best-in-class materials handling equipment, and meticulous processes, SDR has created a better way to recycle hazardous waste. And by doing so, we're producing valuable products and benefiting the environment. America's first facility built from the ground up for the single purpose of recycling steel dust is now a reality. Steel dust recycling, a proven process made better.